In this video, we're going to go over how to organize set lists in the Hedrush gig board. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I am Dr. McFarland, and you have shown up to your weekly doctor's appointment where I basically answer your questions that I see people asking throughout the week and hopefully answer all your questions. And what we're gonna look at today is the set list view on the Headrush gig board and trying to figure out you know, the best way to do things here. So first thing you gotta do is you gotta make a set list. All right, how you do that is go to new and then you can come in here. We're gonna start from scratch. And I've already made some rigs down here. They're at the very, very bottom. All right, so I got verse, chorus, bridge, lead, and then chorus, crunch. So basically, this chorus is like a low gain, and then you got chorus, crunch. So we're going to do verse. And as you can see, you simply just tap the rig, and it goes into the uh, set list there. And let's do chorus, crunch. Let's do bridge, and then let's do lead. All right. Now we can add in other instances of this. So let's say after... The lead part, you know, in your song, you might go back to a verse, right? So let's add that in there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, let's do two more. Let's go back to a, um, let's do a chorus and let's do a lead. All right. So we're going to save that as a new set list. We're going to call this Friday. Let's just call it Friday. <laughs> Why not? All right, so we're going to go back, and there's our Friday set list. So let's go into it. All right, so what we have here, let's go over the, the views that we can choose from. That way we can better understand how the set list actually works. All right, so we got stomp view, which is basically you can have different pedals assigned to the four switches down here. All right, and then you have rig. So you're only going to see the rigs, and you're going to go between different banks. So you can see the rigs. Okay, and at this point, you know, rigs and set list view are going to be very similar. Let's go ahead and keep going through here. So we got hybrid view, and depending on which rig that you're on, you may have different pedals assigned to your different. Uh, switches down here so I can I can still be on like a clean or a chorus crunch patch I can turn on and off that distortion pedal or I can turn on and off the delay or whatever um, there's my chorus all right and then the last view so you can go to set list and now we're gonna scroll through till we get to Friday but well, there's our Friday set list so we can see if we hit verse right here that we're going to have our clean patch. Okay, we can go over to chorus. All right, we go over to the next bank, which has two more rigs. Here's our chorus crunch. It should be a little bit more gainy. that okay, let's go back to this course check okay we're good on that now when you're on a rig and you want to switch to a different one you can keep playing on the same rig just go ahead and hit the next bank and then you can be playing still <laughs> So that way you're basically showing yourself two more options you have available. And then when you're ready to choose that rig, you can just hit it. Okay. If you want to go back to a verse or a chorus, you can keep playing. Then you can hit that rig, okay? Um, 
Same thing for the bridge. If we're on a nice clean coursey sound. You can just keep playing on that as long as you want. And then if you want to switch back to a different different uh, rig, you can. Um, or if you want to go to your lead patch next, you can totally do that. You can keep jamming on that for a while. Go to your verse. Okay, you can go to your chorus again. And then back to your lead. All right, so you kind of have to do a little bit of preparation before you go into your gig or your recording session or whatever you want to do. Since you only have four switches down here, you can't access all the different rigs that you want, but you just have to either do it in set list mode or if you want to do it in rig mode because you're already in the set list that you want to be in, so you can just swap between your different rigs. You still got the same order. So verse, chorus, chorus, crunch, bridge, lead, verse, and then chorus, lead. Um, and it actually shows you which patch you're currently on. So uh, so does that make sense about setting up a set list on the gig board? Because if you want to choose a different set list, you have to hold the view button down, hit set list again. And let's say you're switching to a different set list. So MS-30 rig, sure, let's go to that. So there, there's my MS-30 rig. I have a few different rigs already set up in that set list. So you can just choose to go between the clean and do a wash. You can do a rhythm sound. That's funky. You got your lead sound. Cool. I think you get the point by now. I could totally use this live if I need to. I'm actually playing electric guitar at church this Sunday. So I'll probably just bring the gig board, uh, look at my set list, create some rigs according to the songs I'm playing, you know, throw them in a set list, and then just switch between the different rigs and be, uh, be good. So, all right, guys, I am Dr. McFarland. If you want to be a more confident musician, Consider subscribing to my channel down below. Go play, go practice, go create those tones. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Keep rocking. Hey, 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 wait a second. Before you go, be sure to check out the description down below. There's a lot of really cool links. And definitely be sure to check out my website, DrMcFarlandStudios.com. See ya.